Lowe's Garden Center. All right, so it is mid-September, and let's check out some of the fall plants that they have going on. Uh, they got tons of mums, as you can see, but let's see what else we can find to go along with this. I guess I should start on this side, and I'll work my way down the line. Okay, and we got some crotons, 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 crotons. This is typically used as an indoor house plant where I'm at, uh, Zone 6, Pennsylvania. Uh, but you can see why it's definitely the fall vibes. I think some of these might be getting a little bit too much sun, like some bleaching going on. But you know what, these are great for uh, like on a porch, you know, somewhat protected from uh, the harsh afternoon sun. And they have this fern in there, which is kind of interesting. Um, actually surprising I only have two plants in here instead of three. Yeah, it's just two. <laughs> We got a happy harvest time for pumpkins. And then we have this, a croton too. So they got like different pots that you could choose from. Happy fall, y'all. It's so corny. Uh, and these things, I swear they have them every year. Every year. So but right here, these mums are looking good. See, this is how you kind of want them when you purchase them. First, you want to make sure that the color of the bloom is true to the tag. So that's a yes. That's that's fairly, fairly accurate. And you want them to also have a ton of buds like that are not opened. And that's how you do it. This one is super pretty. I love purple. Purpley pink. Yes. 22 bucks. That's kind of a lot. Those planters are just plastic garbage, in my opinion. Uh, yeah, so some Monrovia shrubs are actually only $10. Yeah, wow. Monrovia looks like hollies and, you know. This is the one I'm interested in right here. I know I probably showed you guys the last video. Mr. Bowling Ball Arborvitae. Yeah, that one's kind of neat. Stays compact, short. Ooh. My phone going off. So oh, I think yellows, like yellow and like the purple ones are just ace to me. And these are looking fairly good. They're more opened than I would like, but you know, they still have tons of buds on them and they're healthy. True to the tag color as well. Now, a lot what's on this table is stuff I would not get. Like, these should be like half off because they're all bloomed out. They're all bloomed out already. I mean, granted, we only have like a month until our first frost. Um, we have our frost in mid-October usually, but a lot of these are just, it's been hot. Like today right now is 86 degrees. So I love yellow. Look at that, it's just a happy color. Happy yellow. <laughs> um, now, don't get me wrong, you could always cut the blooms off and then there'll be some more like little, little blooms popping up or some buds if you could see them in there. Like right there where my thumb is. These are frost tolerant, like light frost tolerant. So, um, ah, wow, that's pretty. I love that color. In the pansy combo. Oh, cute. Oh, is that like, is that a thumbnail? Maybe? Hmm. Yeah, those are beautiful. Love that. These are great. Uh, here we do I have some fountain grass in here. This is a young fountain grass. Usually they have the plumes on them by now. But again, like the buds are like in really good condition. They haven't opened up all the way yet, so this is an ace. Ace one I would say is good to buy. The ones that are just multi, like colored like that. Ooh, ooh, that, that is just, that's like the perfect fall color, I think. That is so pretty. Okay, ooh, and the purples and the pinks, pink purple ones, cute. 
I love how it's the dark purple in the center and then the light, almost like a lavender on the outside of the petals. Yeah, great. Thing of like a false kind of tag. Let me get this in the shade a little bit. Maybe, maybe I'll get this in the shade. Okay, so on the tag, it's definitely more orangey. It's called a red mum, but it's definitely more orangey. And this is more of like a maroon color. So, yeah, just be careful. That's why I say like always wait until some of it's like actually opened. Then you can see the true color of the flower. Mum mums. Mummy mum mums. I know Monrovia has some really great uh, varieties of mums. I know when I worked here, they did. And, um, okay, so you see how, like, a little bit more wild it is, like, spaced out? Um, that's typical of the Lowe's brands for their, uh, mums. And, like, Monrovia's, I seem, like, to be more compact and tight. And, of course, like, my echinaceas are actually done. I have the purple ones, like this. Like, with the bees on. <laughs> um, but these are kind of cool, the colors oranges and yellows very fall vibe okay so on over here again some yellow mums happy yellow mums these are good these are huge no way they're only 15.98 no way Ooh, that's a good deal for that size that's actually a really great deal and you get like a proper pot not I mean it's nothing fancy, but it's like a proper plastic pot, not like a, a lining pot. Okay. Oh, I know the sun must be like a little harsh in the camera, but that's, that's what I could do, guys. So, it is, I can't believe it's 86 degrees, and it's hot, and it's sunny. Like, I want my 70 to get 70 degree weather. I don't know about y'all. It's too hot, mid-September. Oh, this is interesting. A ready refill. Marigolds and, oh, I had these before. What are they? Mm. Let me see if it will say. Uh, Angelonia, that's what it is, Angelonia. And then he had the ornamental peppers, which I guess they'll change colors then. Oh, some more echinaceas and coreopsis, which I think this is a little bit expensive. I think you could get them for like five bucks. Oh, oh, this is a, a native. Look how beautiful this is. This is a, um, well, they call it a Showmaker's Lilac Sunset Aster. Nine dollars. Um, this is actually a native great look at that yeah mine are starting to open i already have some planted mine are starting to open and they're perennial so it's great because you could always you know after like two three years dig divide and plant up some more plants oh and here we go speedwell speedwell or veronica sorry those carts are really loud if the camera is really picking up on this a lot but there are a ton of uh, insects flying about with uh, between the speedwell and the asters <laughs> you know same color different texture of a plant so can you imagine them tucked in between each other very neat very very neat um, this is better than salvia speedwell is better than salvia in my opinion one it is much more sturdy and standing upright and I think the colors are just more vibrant, maybe because it's more compact color. Salvia is a little bit more spread out, but uh, yeah, those are really nice. That's a great buy. Sedums, sedums, Autumn Joy sedums. Do you see them? <laughs> All right, that was probably a bad joke. But yeah, uh, great color, pollinators love it. Um, also very very drought tolerant it is a sedum and also you could just like clip and propagate them into the soil they'll take and it's nice in this uh, winter if you don't cut them down they kind of like have a 
uh, if it snows like a little bit, it'll hold up the snow and adds like so much like dimension in your yard. It's kind of fun. Turning its fall color with the uh, red and the red stems. So very, very interesting plant. I had them planted and it only lasted like three years. So not sure if it's supposed to be like that, but mine only lasted a little bit, but it's a beautiful plant. Okay, oh, here. This is the salvias. So you see how it kind of just splits in the middle? It just splits, right? versus the uh, speedwell or the veronica that's over here it really stays upright even when this is older like a few months old if it's still in the pot it's going to be upright okay walking on in and they actually have these crocus bulbs out well these are like for fall planting uh i never really seen white crocus uh joan of arc multiple blooms per bulb Returns year after year. Okay, uh, crocus. Only five dollars for ten bulbs. That's a good deal. Hey, you know saffron is made from crocus. The spice saffron. Fun facts. Hyacinths. The lovely smell. You only need one, like inside your house, and it will literally perfume the whole house. Okay, and some daffodils. Yeah, you know what? They really don't sell a whole lot of bulbs in the uh in the fall I, I i don't know what it is but they just don't some crocuses or not crocuses oh gosh i just looked at the crocuses crotons crotons <sighs> and then, yeah they have like an overfill of house plants out here i guess uh nothing too nothing too showy got some aglaonemas though or Deffenbach is. It's hard to tell the difference, really. Very similar. All right, let's go check out some plants, though. Enough of it. Yeah, ready refills. They're overbloomed. But check this out. Yay! I was looking at this one, but in the hanging pot. Now they have this one in just the. It's cheaper too. Seventeen dollars. Look how beautiful that is. So sweet. You know, these would be nice in my hanging baskets along the driveway. That one's going off. There we go. $30 though. I think that's a bit much. But again, it's like the plastic pot. It's not that impressive. Oh, and the cone flowers. Look at this. Love that, like, orangey red sunset color. Very cool. Oh, and they got some daisies. Daisies. Again, this is another perennial, but it only lasted like three, um, three years in my garden. Shasta daisies, yeah. Eight, nine dollars. Bees, 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 bees. All right, some sedums from Proven Winners. Got the, looks like there's two different kinds here. There's the white one, and then there's like the pinky mauve one. Ooh, ooh, honey, those grasses are done. Yeah, these are done. You need to just put them on clearance because they're done. They're dead. They're dead, dead. I mean, look at this, this is all white. <laughs> they put them out and they probably never watered them and that's what happens. How do I know this? Because I use the work gear and I know what happens. I don't know. I think I did some fall plants, like shrubs, uh, for fall. So I'm not gonna go too into detail. It is on another video. Ooh, look at this sugar tip, Rose of Sharon. Loving that. Dark throat and like some ruffliness, and it's like a double double petal and a wygelia look at this variegated wygelia the my monet purple effect purple blooms i know they're looking a little stressed now but look at that variegation on that that's it's a beautiful shrub i have that in my own yard and i swear i will do a, a tour sometime <laughs> of course we have these gorgeous gorgeous not uh, a perennial in our area. 
crepe myrtles. Look at the purple blooms. Oh, the hair. Can y'all see that? Look at that. Yeah, little sweet little purple blooms um, on the green one. This one with dark foliage. I mean, that doesn't scream fall. I don't know what will. Has the red. So, okay, yeah. Um, I'm not going to go too much into the shrubs, like I said. So, back over here to the perennials and annuals. Oh, these smoke bushes seen better days. Great color though for the fall when it's not, you know, <clears throat> dying in its pot. Pucaras or corabels, really cool fall vibes right there. And the purple, I mean, come on, look at those leaves. And then the blooms, they're so ethereal and like, I don't know, fairy-like, I wanna say, but just, or elegant. Maybe that's a better way of saying it. Also, you got the ruffly one here. Okay, and then you got like the big bold leaf here. Ooh, which, oh, 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 and then there's this one. Oh my gosh, guys, and the, and the underside has that red to it. Which one is better, y'all? One, two, or three? Because I think they're all fabulous, but it's really hard. Like, if you had to choose one, which one would you choose? These are all Monrovia, by the way. Yeah, these are nice. Yeah, they really, they have this, the purple wolf, or the blue forget-me-not blooms in the uh, spring, but the foliage, I mean, it's rough now because, you know, they're in the pot for like a whole six months, but they're really nice foliage. It feels like a Velcro almost, too. There are petioles, the stems. <laughs> it's fun. I like to touch plants. A rainbow of color with mums, I'll tell you that much. Beautiful. Back over at some shrubs. Check out these blooms on these hydrangeas, the lace caps. Whoa. Those are stunning. Oh, that is just like, hello. Beautiful. Same with this one over here. Oh, I just want to cut them. <laughs> and like make foliage arrangements or like, yeah, this is gonna burst too. These are all butted up. Oh, I'm gonna make wreaths or something with them. 